Welcome to your live coverage of the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Mountain Sanborn Hawks. Tonight we have an enthralling game for you between two teams who are fighting for a spot in the state championship. We'll be right back after the national anthem. Wingback is 5'842 pound senior number 20, Ryan Borden, and the fullback 5'9, 204 pound senior number 34, Ethan Baker. Are we ready? Yep. We're going to take a quick break for the national. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please stand. HMS and Hinton. Gentlemen, remove your headgear. Face the east where the United States flag is there, and we will honor our country. Uh, the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Jazz Band, Jazz Choir, will be singing the national anthem. Wonderful performance by the choir. Now getting into some football here. Great game we have tonight between the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. Just three weeks ago, these teams met each other in a battle that ended victorious for Hartley Melvin Sanborn, 55 to 20, where they held Hinton scoreless in the second half. Hinton hoping to sing a different tune tonight as they have to complete more passes and make sure that interceptions are not a problem. Cooper Evil taking one back to the house last time they played. Look for some discipline changes on that offense. Speaking of Cooper Evil, big week in that time. 282 yards on the ground, four touchdowns. Tonight's game, led by Coach Adrian Harderson, the defensive ends for Hinton, 6'1", 200-pound sophomore. Number Cooper Evil, 282 yards on the ground and four touchdowns with a couple of completions as well, leading this Hartley Melvin Sanborns offense. And I wouldn't say to expect anything less than that tonight once again. Last week, putting it on the ground five times into the end zone. It looks like he's going to be carrying the team this week as he leads them out onto the field. It's going to be a good name tonight, so stick around as we continue to get some statistics, and we will get to the start of this game. Three minutes, 20 seconds left until kickoff.
for the Hawks. Yeah. 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 Both teams are coming in with a winning record and a shot to make it to the state championship. Winner of this game will play the winner of Galen Catholic in Woodbury Central. A game that will also be extremely exciting, but for now we have to make sure we take care of the game in front of us. Two teams fighting for a spot, hinting, hoping to sing a different tune. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities, Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell as the butterflies start to fly away, Hartley Melvin Sanborn has won the toss and is elected to defer to the second half. Hinton will receive the ball. Start the game. Cooper Ebel will kick the ball out to start the game. You're going to hear his name a lot tonight as he was very productive on the ground last week. Five touchdowns, one in the air as well. Nice pass to his fullback, Ethan Baker. And here comes the kick. Nice high kick. He'll be taken at the 18 yard line. And he's going to find a hole and he's going to take it all the way down to the 37 yard line. Warden taking the run back for about 18 yards. It'll put the Blackhawks on the 30. Eight yard line, start this drive. First and 10. Now, as we get into this game, I'd like to announce some starters at the quarterback position Glenn Carlson. Glenn Carlson, the senior. Fullback, Garrett Lindley. Wide receiver one, Bo DeRocher. Wide receiver two, Carson Pierce. And that's going to be a short pass out left. And that's DeRocher. DeRocher with a nice two yard gain. Continuing on, Bodie Binabo at halfback. Going from left to right, the tight end, Caden Winters, the senior. Gonna be a big part of this offense tonight. Left tackle Garrett Divis. Left guard Reese Stokes. Center Thomas Illidis. Right guard Tyler Chastain and right tackle Jacob Bishop. That is Hinton's offense for tonight. They'll take about two yard or five yards on the ground. Be third and four. It's going to go down the middle. Nice hard earned five, six yards as he continues to fight forward. And that'll be a first down for the Blackhawks. DeRocher with another, with a carry, six yards, it'll be a first down. Also seeing the snaps, Carson Pierce. In that. Who is the second leading full receiver for Hintons in this game already as well? Here's the full house center. look again with two tight ends. DeRocher is going to try and find a way up the middle, but he's going to be kicking it out for a gain of about 20 yards there on the play. They're going to down him at the 33 yard line, and that'll be another first down, a quick one two. Also, number seven, Ariza. Coach Hyler's talked about it. Not for a first down. 
A defense that was absolutely fantastic last week here has let up a couple of early first downs. Hartley Melvin Sanborn looking to get the ball into Cooper Evil's hands. Can't do it. This defense stays on the field. It'll be first and ten for the Blackhawks at the 32-yard line. Carlson in the shotgun. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to throw it out to his left. He's going to try and find his wide receiver down the field, but he will be incomplete. Just a little bit overthrown. Intended for number 34. Excuse me. Intended for number 12, Pierce. Depending on the far side over there, pass incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. He went hard inside. I Second and ten, trying to air it out, make something out of nothing there. Unfortunately, it'll be a little bit, a little bit overthrown. Second and ten, handing it up to the middle. DeRocher is going to try and find some space, but he will not be successful for a short gain of about two. It'll be third and eight for the Blackhawks. I believe that time they did. I, th I think they had Lance lined up a D tackle like we have yeah. seen on the left side of the line. Now they're lined up their DNs and it's Schultz on the left side of D tackle. Big play here for Hinton last game. North Union came to play Artley Mellon Sanborn. This is about the area where you saw that first stop of the game. He's going to have his wide receiver wide open, and once again, Pierce is going to get the ball. And another first down for the Blackhawks here. Just continue to steamroll this Hartley Melvin Sanborn's defense. Be good for a gain of about 12. Nice throw by Glenn Carlson, able to slot it in there for his wide receiver. Able to get the first down, third and eight. That was a big play for the Blackhawks here. Now they get a fresh set of downs on the 19-yard line. They're going to give it to the fullback. He's going to continue to churn up field. Garrett Lindley on the carry. Defensive line came and swarmed. He made sure he wasn't able to gain as many yards as he could have. And now it'll be second and seven. A tough situation here for Hinton. Or for, yeah, for Hinton. Defensive tackle and Bryce Ortega, as I mentioned, did play very well against North Union in that win last week. But those guys getting moved off the ball currently as it's second down. Carlson is going to pitch it out. DeRocher, you're going to see him a lot tonight. That'll be a nice gain of about six, take him down to about the 10 yard line. It'll be third and short here. Trenton Bollink, as you know, has the broken wrist, the uh, hurt arm. He's going to be playing a little bit tonight. You just heard him. He made the tackle. Third and about one here. Tough situation for Hinton because if you don't get this, what do you do? Do you take it and go for it, or do you kick the field goal? Regardless, here's the third down play. And it looks like Carlson is going to have the fake, and he's going to run in the end zone for a touchdown. Carlson getting the Blackhawks on the board early. 6-0. to zero. Man, what a drive by Hinton. Able to keep it on the ground and through the air. Carlson with a nice run will get the Blackhawks on the board. Extra point, make the game 7-0. And that's what's going to happen through the uprights, and it is good. Hinton taking the early lead here between the Blackhawks and the regular Hawks. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital. Finding a reliable mechanic for your vehicle is important, and Dawn's Auto Service in Sanborn is reliable, friendly, timely, and knowledgeable. Maintenance, repairs, tires, oil changes, major repairs. 
they can handle it all. And if you need propane, they've got you covered too. Call Don's Auto Service in Sanborn for your appointment, 712-729-3227. Don's Auto Service is proud to support the HMS Hawks. Big start for Hinton here. Ten yard rush for Glenn Carlson. Put the Hawks, Blackhawks up seven to zero following the extra point. Cooper Evil back to return. Number 15, Landon Elwood to kick. Nice big kick by Elwood. And Deem is going to take it all the way out to the 30-yard line as Hartley Melvin Sanborn is looking to punch back after the quick drive by Hinton. Put them up 7-0. to zero. Seven minutes, 11 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. Really excited to watch this offense out. coming off a big week last week. Imagine Evil might get the first, second, and third carry of this drive after last week, putting four touchdowns into the end zone, five touchdowns into the end zone on the ground. And that's exactly what they're going to do, but Trenton is actually going to get the direct snap, and he's going to continue to try and roll forward. And he'll take it down for a gain of about seven yards. There is a flag on the play, so this one may be coming back, but following the penalty, seven-yard gain. They're going to call a face mask on Hinton's defense. A big, big momentum shift already. If it would have been second and three, now it's going to be first and ten. And they may even get into Hinton territory. First and ten at the 42-yard line. Evil will take the snap. It's going to be a counter. He's going to try and find some space, and there is going to be a ton of Blackhawks there to take him down. Ludwig in on the tackle to start the drive. Be second now ten. And that's somewhat of a rarity. Cooper Ebel getting no yards on the first play of the game. You don't often see that. But this hitting Blackhawks defense may be bringing something to the table tonight. Hard count. Looks like it's going to be a reverse. And he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. What a great play by a couple of Blackhawks there. Ryan Borden. They're on the carry. That'll be a loss of about one. Make it third and 11. Big situation here for Hartley Melvin Sanborn, who already is down by seven points. Hartman with the nice TFL. Cooper Ebel is going to take it. He's going to try and power his way through a couple of defenders, and he's going to find his way all the way up to the 45-yard line. Unfortunately, it won't be enough for the Hawks, and it looks like they're going to send out the punt team here. Even after the short gain of four, fourth and seven, the Hawks are going to elect to punt it here. Cooper Ebel to punt, obviously. They're coming up. They're taking on blocks. Like I said, they're, they're shedding. And, and that's the difference right now. They're playing at the line. Line, it, it hardly it's like a scrimmage or in their back. Oh, back to the used to be number three for Carter Ward this year, but they'll have to punt it away as it's in his inning back. He's in 34. Carter Ward. The Saints are back to return. Cooper Ebel with a nice high punt. It's going to go past the 20 yard line. It's going to get a nice bounce, and it looks like it's going to get within the 10. And it's going to stop right at the 11 yard line. Nice punt by Cooper Evil for about 40 yards. I'll put the Hinton Blackhawks in a little bit of a tough situation here. However, they already are up on the board, so they can afford a little bit. Hawks got to make something happen here, you know, get a good kick out and 
Glenn Carlson with the 10-yard rushing touchdown last drive has been really just managing this game. And a couple of nice throws. He's got one incompletion, but he's also got a couple of nice runs on the ground, getting it to his running backs, making sure that they can get some yards as well. Ultimately, getting it in the end zone. That's exactly what you want to see out of your starting quarterback. Be first and 10 here at the 11-yard line for the Blackhawks. First and 10. DeRocher is going to try and find some space, and he will get a little bit there. Gain of about three. He looks like he's going to be the go-to man tonight. They're going to give him three to four yards there. He'll be second in about seven. Saw him break a nice run when he was trying to find some space up the middle, able to cut it outside, find a little bit of space there. DeRocher already with 35 yards on the night, seven yards of carry. See Glenn Carlson here, going to hand it off. He's going to fake it. He's going to try and get it to his receiver, and that is going to be tip ball. Number 13, Great play by Deem to break up that pass. However, there is a flag on the play, so this one might be DPI on Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Pierce was the intended receiver on the play. And they're going to say that's a holding on Hartley Melvin Sanborn. They're going to call it on Deem. So two big penalties here to start the game. One on Hinton that was fortunately not going to cost him anything here. And now it's going to give them a fresh set of downs with the holding call on Ethan Deem. First and 10 at the 25 here. Blackhawks are going to have a little bit of breathing room now. So let's see what Greg Carlson can do. He's going to try the option. He'll be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Huge play by Fox defense. That's number 70, Lance Barons. Barons making a great impact last week as well. See, so you're going to get that first TFL. It'll be a loss of about four there. It's going to be a carry for Carlson. Second and 14. They're going to try and hand it off, and a bunch of Hawks are going to be there. And now we've got two consecutive tackles for loss there. A big defensive stop. Adam Shearholz. Shearholz with a nice finish on the tackle. It'll be third and a lot. Big play here. Some momentum has definitely been shown. Greg Carlson is going to absolutely air it out. He's going to try and find his wide receiver, and he is going to drop the pass. Couldn't quite hold on to it, just a little bit out in front of him, and it's going to force the Hinton Blackhawks to probably punt here. Found some breakaway speed on the right side, and now the Hinton Blackhawks are going to have to punt here. <laughs> Winters trying to find some space on the right side. Now he'll punt the ball. A big high punt. Cooper Evil is going to take it at the 48-yard line. It looks like he's going to bobble it a little bit, but he'll be able to hang on. And now this Hartley Melvin Sanborn offense is going to have another chance to show their stuff. Cooper Evil has got to get it going on the ground here for this offense. Two minutes, 17 seconds left in the first quarter. Don't let that thing bounce, hit the ground, and lose another 5, 10, 15 yards. 
This is a prove it drive here for the Hawks, and to start it out, they're going to go with trips left. Seen a couple of screens here, but they're going to fake it. Cooper Evil is going to take it himself. He's going to run over his defender, his, his blocker, and he's going to continue to break tackles down the sideline. He'll finally be taken down by number 16. Caden Winters, Winters with the drop pass and the punt. Get first and 10 here, a great run by Cooper Evil, and that's exactly what you're expecting out of him tonight to carry this offense. Gain of about 14. Looked like he's going to be taken down at about the 55-yard line and continuing to run those feet. They're going to go trips left again. Obviously faking the screen, but they're known for it as well here. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to pump fake, and he's going to take it. Cooper Evil all the way up, and he's going to try and take it all the way to the end zone, but he'll be taken down at about the 18-yard line, 19-yard line, by a couple of Blackhawks. Garrett Lindley on the tackle. Another first and ten here. Ball on the 19-yard line. They have about 18, 19 yards there. It'll be first and ten within the 20-yard line. That fake screen has been absolutely deadly for the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks, and now you see they're going away from it here, but Cooper Ebel is going to still get the handoff. He's going to run through a defender, and it looks like he's going to fumble. Cooper Ebel is going to fumble the ball here, and it looks like Hinton is going to recover on their own 15-yard line. Bo DeRocher. Referees are going to say that he was definitely fumbling that ball before he was down. And it looks like the Hinton Blackhawks are going to take over on about the 16, 17 yard line. Carlson is going to go to Winters. He's going to try and get the flag, but they're not going to say anything. With the deem on the coverage. Flag on the play. It's a flag back at about the 16-yard line. It'll be a holding on Hinton. So now they're going to push themselves back a little bit more. As you know, last drive, a couple of TFLs couldn't quite get themselves out of the hole. Now they're going to find themselves in a similar situation, but only to start the first drive. Gonna take them all the way down to about the eight yard line. It'll be first and about 18. Carlson trying to get his offense out of their own red zone here. And they're gonna do that with a pitch on the first play to Rocher. The Rocher is gonna try and break a tackle and he'll be taken down at about the eight, nine yard line, not a lot of yards there. Maybe a gain of two. He's second at about 16. Looks like this is going to be quite a defensive game here. 20 seconds left on the play clock, 22 seconds left on the scoreboard. Big play here for HMS. Second and about 16. Carlson's going to roll out to his left, and he's going to try and throw it downfield. But with no luck, overthrowing his receiver once again. That'll force it to third and 16, but not after the end of the first quarter here. Score after one quarter of play, Hinton, Blackhawks, seven. 
Harley Melvin Sanborn Hawks, zero. You're listening to Fuller Digital Solutions. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Finding a reliable mechanic for your vehicle is important, and Dawn's Auto Service in Sanborn is reliable, friendly, timely, and knowledgeable. Maintenance, repairs, tires, oil changes, major repairs, they can handle it all. And if you need propane, they've got you covered too. Call Don's Auto Service in Sanborn for your appointment, 712-729-3227. Don's Auto Service is proud to support the HMS Hawks. Finding a reliable mechanic for your vehicle, HMS El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. 7-0 to after one quarter of play, Hinton taking the lead on the first drive of the game. Hartley Melvin Sanborn struggling to get their offense going. Had some nice runs. Unfortunately, Cooper Evil will fumble on his own 10-yard line, and the Hawks or the Blackhawks will take the ball. Now they'll be forced to a third and 16 situation. Greg Carlson to take the snap. Look for him to throw it deep. He has not shied away from it yet. And that's exactly what he's going to do down the right side. He's going to try and find his wide receiver, and he has overthrown his receiver once again. Pass intended for Pierce. And the Blackhawks are going to be forced to punt once again within their own red zone. Tough situation for Hinton, who was forced to throw it deep there. Cooper Abel back to receive the punt. Winters to boot it away. Little dribbler down the field. Cooper Abel is going to take it. And he's going to try and get around a couple of defenders, and he's going to do just that. Gain about seven yards on there, but there is a flag. About the 40-yard line. Don't quite know what's going on with the flag on the play. First and 10 here for the Hawks. Cooper Evil is going to take the ball now. Up the middle. He'll be taken down for a short gain of about five here. Cooper Evil looking to hang on to the ball. Gabe Anderson on the tackle. Making a big play there. Now will be second and five here for the Hawks. Bowling coming off the field here. Be second and about five. Cooper able to take the snap. A direct snap, Cam Travis Camrat. Camrat's going to take his way forward for gain of about two, maybe three. The referee's giving him a generous amount here. It'll be third and about three. It'll be a tough situation here for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Looking to continue their drive. Haven't had a lot of first downs quite yet. Not able to punch one in the end zone. That's got to change here if you want a chance in this game. 
Third and about three. Big third down conversion here as Cooper Evil is going to take it himself. He's going to have a couple of blockers. He's going to find some space on the left side. And the sheer speed of Cooper Ebel is going to take him all the way down to about the 17, 18 yard line. And that will be enough for a first down by a lot. Gain of about 14 on the play. Seven carries for about 69 yards here for Cooper Ebel as he continues to be dominant on this offense. First and 10 at the 14 for HMS. So that spot we like, Kevin, we talked about. They can get a first down inside the five. Here's Travis Camrat. Camrat's going to take it down all the way to the 10 yard line. He's going to fight his way out to the eight or nine they're going to give him. Second and about five there. Camrat being a big part of this drive here. Now he already has two carries over eight yards. Camrat's going to take it again. He's going to try and power his way forward. Looks like he was the one getting the snap regardless. And he'll gain. Actually, he'll be stuffed right at the line of scrimmage by a couple of Blackhawks. It'll be third and about five. Harley Melvin Sanborn really needs a first down here. Continue this drive. you got to put one in the end zone. Just nine minutes left in the second quarter. You got to think. You got to get on the scoreboard. Third and five for six. Camrat's going to find a hole, and he's going to churn his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Travis Camrat with a great run for about 10 yards. He'll put him in the end zone, and he'll put the Hawks on the board. Talking about Camrat being a big influence on this drive. He'll put it in the end zone, cap it off. Tied game following the extra point here. But now the Hawks are finally on the board. They're going to go for two here, try to take the lead right away. Cooper Ebel is going to take the snap. And it's going to be a counter. Cooper Ebel is going to try and fight his way to the end zone, and he will do just that. Carrying a couple defenders on his way in for two points, Cooper Ebel is going to put the Hawks on top. Hawks taking the lead here with 8.48 left in the game. Scores 8 to 7, Hawks over the Blackhawks. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller. Did Customers deserve great internet too. This is Doug from Evertech. You deserve Evertech's no limits internet and the personal service that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bringing customers like you reliable, unlimited internet. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. 8-7 to seven following the Travis Camrat 10-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion is good. Cooper Ebel is going to power his way into the end zone for that two-point. And the Hawks, for the first time tonight, will take the lead over the Blackhawks. Cooper Ebel here to kick it off. Nice deep kick last time. Be received by Bo DeRocher. Boom. Cooper Ebel is going to kick it. It's going to be received at about the 21-yard line. 
Warden is going to take it down. He's going to try and find a hole, and he'll fight forward to about the 30. Eight yard line. The Blackhawks will start their drive. About the 39, they're going to give them. First and 10 here for the Hinton Blackhawks as they look to strike back. If you're hinting here, you'd think you want to take down a little bit of time off the clock and punch it into the end zone. It looks like they're going to start with a nice run. Might have been a false start there. However, I'm going to give it to them. But two to three yards down the field be a short gain, but a nice gain. That one put it at second and seven. Rocher with a nice little run there. Put it into some sort of manageable second down conversion. Both fullbacks on that last play looked like they were a little bit early to the party. So now they're going to stick with the run game, and that time they will get called for a false start. Looks like may have been some miscommunication on both plays here. Will now put the Hinton Blackhawks behind 10 yards up to gain. So instead of second and about seven, it'll be second and about 12. Hoping to fix the communication here. The Hinton Blackhawks come out and nice formation. Guard tackle will split out a little bit. Carlson is going to whip it out to the right side. That'll be incomplete. Coverage by Ryan Borden there. Looks like he's been on huddle studying. Nice coverage on the play. And regardless, it's going to be a holding on Hinton. So now a false start followed by a holding call. We'll put it from a third and 12 conversion to a second and 22. These Blackhawks have a big hole to dig themselves out of as Greg Carlson is gonna whip it to the right. He's gonna find his receiver down the field for a nice gain, about 10. The number 13, Carson Pierce, defending there, number 20, Ryan Borden for the Hawks. Here for a nice gain of about 10. Put the Hawks in a third and 12 situation, same one they would have been in just to play a go if they didn't have the holding. They said they'll have a little bit of time to decide what they want to do here, try and get the first down. This defense has really stepped up on the last couple of uh, drives here for the Hawks. It'll be third and about 11. Greg Carlson is going to roll out to the left, and he's going to try and find his wide receiver, and that pass is broken up. Ethan Deem is going to be the one to break that pass up. They're going to say illegal hands to the face. Hartley Melvin Sanborn. That's going to be on one of the defensive linemen there on the offensive lineman's face. Now the Blackhawks are going to have another chance here to convert on third down. Three penalties here on this first down, all the way through, false start of holding, and now we have a hands to the face for Arlie Melvin Sanborn. So instead of third and 12, it's going to be third and two. Hinton is going to have another shot here to get a set of downs. And it looks like they're going to say 15 yards, which is what I originally thought it was. However, it looks like it's going to give Hinton a first down. So. Nice, easy conversion for Hinton, apparently, after the legal hands of the face. And now Greg Carlson is going to get his offense out there really quick. Hand it off to the fullback. He's going to try and churn forward. He's not going to find a lot of space at all. 
This interior defensive line for Hartley Melvin Sanborn has been absolutely dominant so far to start this game. Following that first drive, I don't think they have let more than 30 yards on the ground. Now it's halfway through the second quarter. Short gain here. Second and nine for the Blackhawks. Another run right up the middle, and DeRocher is going to continue to fight forward, break through a couple of tackles, and ultimately he'll be taken down by Ethan Deem at about the 39-yard line. Excuse me, 34. by number 10, Ethan Diem. Diem, Ethan Diem, and another hawk in there for the tackle. First down. Nine carries for 48 yards, and then you get back to getting him the ball looks so good on that first drive. And kind of going away from getting it to number 10 and trying to pass against this hawk. Hitting now on a little bit of a roll here, praising that defensive line. Now they just let up a 14-yard carry. Ball number 10's hands for hitting as much as he can. He really ran, ran low that night. Hinton going to try and run the ball again. DeRocher is going to try and find his way outside, and he will get a couple of yards there. Gain of about six or seven. DeRocher really using that speed to cut out to the outside. Also number five, Cambra in on that side. Second down and three. Give a nice little left leg out there to make that defender miss on that. You know, on that inside leg and not be able to bring him down or knock him off balance. DeRosa really using that speed to cut outside, make a couple defenders miss, and get his team a crucial amount of yards. Second and about three here for Hinton. Greg Carlson's going to try and get his troops up to the line. He's going to zip one out to the left side, and that pass will be completed. Number 16, Caden Winters. Now be first and ten for hitting inside the red zone. Second time they've seen it tonight. DeRocher is going to try and break his way outside. Unfortunately, he'll be taken down by a couple of Hawks. Cooper Ebel and Lance Barons together on that. Make the tackle for a gain of zero, actually. They held him at the line of scrimmage. That's what they're going to say. Be second and 10 here from about the 18 yard line. Carlson, again, going to the sideline to get the play, just kind of a different. Hinton's calling a few plays in a row here every single time, and then Carlson runs to the sideline to get the next. Carlson is going to whip one out to the left side, and it looks like he's going to have a receiver in the end zone, and they're going to say that he caught it. What a play by Greg Carlson to find his receiver in the end zone. That right there was a great catch as well. Number 13, Carson Pierce. Carson Pierce really making sure he was focusing on grabbing the ball. Nice 18-yard slot in there for the touchdown. Hinton's going to find themselves on the board again. On the play. And they're going to say that there is a flag on the play. Referees are going to discuss a little bit here. This could be a really big flag. Now Hartley Melvin Sanborn, what was potentially going to be a DPI, is now going to be an unsportsmanlike card now. The Blackhawks are going to elect to take the extra point again. Official timeout. Official timeout. DeRocher is going to come off the field. 
have a different hold at this point. Winner of tonight's yeah. game, of course, and now he's just going to yeah. take a timeout, yeah. it looks like. So we'll take a quick break with five, six years. Now Hinton is going to take a timeout following the extra point. And with that, we'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital. We believe in service. That means providing no limits internet to more than 20 counties in Northwest Iowa. For more than 30 years, Evertech employees and their families live in the communities we serve. We're your neighbors and friends. And Evertech has been there when others haven't. And we continue to invest, build, and upgrade our network. We understand that rural Iowans deserve great internet too. It's who we are. Evertech is internet made easy. No contracts, no hidden fees, and best of all, no limits. Evertech. I like living in the dorms at NCC because it's a short walk to class. We do get free perks on campus. We get free laundry. We get free cable, free internet, free utilities. I do feel like I'm getting college experience at NCC. At NCC, we have EMT classes that cover many things trauma emergency, medical emergencies, all the way to delivering a baby. There's just many more opportunities for EMS that allow you to grow, not only as a person, but in your career as well. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. Both teams here in a dogfight as Hinton just scored 13 to eight right now they lead. Looks like there's a little bit of confusion on the field as Hinton was going to take the one point. Now they're going to elect to go for two. Looks like they're going to get that entire offense out there. Greg Carlson is going to lead them. I mean, you might as well if you're down by five. Still a touchdown works here, but seven is a different story. And he's going to try and get his wide receiver out on the right side. Carlson. Incomplete. And with that, we'll be right back after another quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. The instructors here are really nice. The way they teach here is different than a few other colleges as well. We have outside cars, so not just a bunch of trainer cars that we everybody works on and you kind of know what's wrong with them already. So we have to go through the full steps of diagnostics and find out what the problem is and then we fix it. The heavy equipment program here at NCC is unique in that we actually go out and do real world jobs. Students get hands on time with the equipment. We cover the maintenance as well as the operation of the equipment and then we go into the estimating side of things. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. Quick touchdown there. Greg Carlson is going to find his main man, Carson Pierce, in the end zone. Nice 18-yard pass in the corner. They're going to go for the two-point conversion. They will be unsuccessful. And now, following an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, they're going to get some great position here to kick this ball off. And this might cost Hartley Melvin Sanborn, who's already struggling to get this offense going. Cooper Ebel is going to try and take it. And he'll just let it go over his head, and that'll be a touchback. Hartley Melvin Sanborn will take the ball out. 20-yard line. We see everyone onside kick or split kick it all the time anyway. It's going to end up being 30 or 35 if you don't get it. And, you know, the the Hawks started at their own 30 on the Hartley Melvin Sanborn with a couple of disappointing offensive drives here. Looking to change that right now with five minutes, 16 seconds left in the second quarter. It's only a matter of maybe 10, 15 yards of difference of field position. If you go for the onside kick, and you might come up with it. Who knows? We saw North Union get one last week against HMS. Here's HMS back on offense. Direct snap to Camerat. Camerat's going to try and run his way through this defensive line, and he'll be taken down after a short gain of about three. Camera a little slow to get up, but and he's going to ask for a substitution here quick. Trenton Volink. Volink will take over. Started the night out on a, at the running back position. Travis Camerat taking a couple of drives here. Obviously scored the touchdown. So now Trenton Volink will be back in. Second and about seven. Hartley Melvin Sanborn has got to make something out of this drive here. All of a sudden, it's hey, it's, it's win Friday night, of course, for HMS. He win tonight. And going to be back Cooper Ebel is going to elect to pass it. You don't see this very often. He's going to find his wide receiver down the field. What a ball by Cooper Ebel. 
and that will be a touchdown. Ryan Borden with a great catch down the field. We'll take it all the way into the end zone, 77 yards. Man, what a play by Cooper Evil. Obviously, you think he's going to run it all the time, but he also has an arm as well. Throwing it 35 yards down the field, finding his intended receiver, and his receiver is going to take it the rest of the way here. As now Hartley Melvin Sanborn, who was struggling on offense, is now going to find their way into the end zone and take the lead once again. What a stat line for Cooper Evil in terms of passing. One for one, 77 yards. You couldn't expect or hope for anything less. Cooper Evil is going to try and take it in for the two point. However, the officials are going to stop it before it starts. And it's going to be a false start on Hartley Melvin Sanborn. This is going to force a difficult situation here. Now it's going to be a seven yard two point conversion, and they're still going to go with it here. Cooper Ebel last week also with a couple of completions completed one to Ethan Baker in the back of the end zone where he had quite a bit of time to make a decision there and that one he also had a bit of time as well Cooper Ebel one for one for one 77 yards here they're going to go for the two point conversion Cooper Ebel is going to take it out himself he's going to slot one over the top and that is going to be intercepted in the end zone However, that play is blown dead by the referees. Ethan Baker, the intended retarget. Good thing that doesn't count for the stat line for Cooper Ebel. One for one, 77 yards. Nice pass. Cooper Ebel to Ryan Borden. We'll put the Hawks up 14 to 13. You're listening to Fuller Digital Solutions, and we'll be right back after a quick commercial break here from our. I chose NCC because they have a nice welding program. Their building is fairly new. They make it very easy to just jump in and learn. Coming into welding, I had no experience, so this program and this NCC seems like a good place to start. We have very good instructors here, they're all well, well qualified. The courses are gonna be the same as you get them here. The difference is, it's gonna cost you a lot less money. Then we have agreements with lots of other universities, about 40 of them, and that allows them to transfer all their credits. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. Big play, Cooper Evil. One for one, 77 yards. Finds his target, Ryan Borden, for the first pass of the night. Hartley Melvin Sanborn getting a spark in this offense, takes the lead with four minutes and 21 seconds left to play in the second quarter here. Cooper Evil with a nice squib down the field. He's going to be taken at about the 35-yard line, and he'll go down at the 36. Gabe Anderson with a nice coverage on that play. Let's give Hinton a nice little bit of field position here at about the 36-yard line. Be first and 10 for the Blackhawks. Looking to really make something up here. Now, Harley Mullen Sanborn on the last two drives has put it in the end zone. First and 10 here for the Blackhawks. They're going to elect to hand it off, and he'll be taken down at the line of scrimmage. Brian Ortega, or Bryce Ortega on play. Gain of about two. Second down and eight yards to go. Good play by the defensive tackle to make sure that that runner was not going to go anywhere. Now it'll be second and eight here for the Hinton Blackhawks as they look to try and make something out of nothing. Haven't had a whole ton of momentum on offense. Scored last drive here, but now Greg Carlson is looking to pass it out to the right again. He's going to find his receiver, Carson. Carson Pierce, who had the touchdown reception. Really nice play, good focus overall. Definitely somebody Greg Carlson is going to be looking to to complete some passes. Greg Carlson, quite a few completions now. Started off the game a little bit slow. Ultimately, he has picked it up. 
Packers four for 55. He's got 12, 12, a 17 yard touchdown, and 14 there. So he's running to the sticks a little bit past. Make sure he gets, gets a little, little over 10 yards, but then he's on the stick routes. He is doing a great job getting open. First and 10 here following the completion of Pierce. Fred Carlson is going to end up pitching it to the left. DeRocher there for the small gain, about three. Hitton looked like they were definitely trying to speed up their play. Now with two minutes, 40 seconds left, you don't know what they're going to do, but they have a little bit of time to work with here to get into the end zone before the end of the quarter. Yeah, we have absolutely some good blocking up front, but some good moves by the running backs, and they'll go that, that full house power eye backfield. And it's going to be a reverse here. Carson Pierce. Carson Pierce is going to find some space, and he's going to use his wheels to get out of bounds at about the 38-yard line. Nice gain of about 12. Going to give him 13 yards on the play there as that will move the sticks. Carson Pierce, really big part of this offense right now. Got about four catches, 50 yards, touchdown. Now he's got a rush for about 13. Woodbury Central now 35 0 in the second quarter. I'm Galen Catholic. We will keep you updated on that game. Of course, and we'll have some other scores for playoff football coming up at halftime. 2 16 to go. Second quarter, hitting on the move, trailing by one. First and 10. Looks like they're going to hand it off to DeRocher, who's going to get stuffed. Bryce Ortega really making an impact there at defensive tackle. Another TFL for him on the night. Second and 11 here now for the Blackhawks. Second and 11. Looks like they're going to hand it out to DeRosha. DeRosha is going to be met in the hole. Cooper Ebel is going to take him down by the leg. DeRosha is looking for some space. Cooper Ebel making sure there was none left. Still gain about three on the play. It'll make it third and about eight. Hinton looking to get a first down conversion here. Continue to move the chains. One minute, 14 seconds left to play in the first half. I think this is smart play here by Hinton to wind down the clock. You have a Hartley Melvin Sanborn offense that has been very electric on the last two drives. No, you can move the ball a little bit. Make sure you can get this first down conversion. If you can't, run a little bit of clock off. And now it looks like it's going to be incomplete. Greg Carlson looking for his receiver there. That's none other than Carson Pierce. Depending on that far side, number 10, Ethan Dean. Ethan Dean with some nice coverage on the side. 49 seconds left, fourth down here. Hinton has got a tough decision. You have eight yards to get the first down. However, you punt them, you could put them in some terrible field position. And it looks like it's going to force Hinton to call a timeout, make a good decision here before the end of the first half. With that, we'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fully Digital Solutions. Sanborn Savings Bank, Sanborn's hometown bank since 1899. Because we are your hometown bank, we understand the importance of offering you a wide range of financial services to help you meet your financial goals. We have checking, savings, and certificate of deposit accounts that will help you manage your money. We offer all types of loans for your individual needs. We are always ready to work with you to design a program to meet your financial needs. Sanborn Savings Bank, proud to support the HMS Hawks, member FDIC. What is Spencer at? 14 6. That last two. Finding someone you trust, it's important when it comes to your farming operation. For generations, you know that you can work with Savings Bank of Primgar, Hartley, and Lake Park. From generation to generation, the state savings loan officers in Primgar, Hartley, and Lake Park continue to work with you. 
Bucks.com. Looks like after the timeout, Hinton is going to elect to go for it here. Fourth and eight. Big play. Greg Carlson is going to have to heave it up, and that will be incomplete. So now with 42 seconds left, Harley Melvin Sanborn Hawks and their electric offense are going to come back out in the field and try and get another one in. Really curious to see what the Hawks do here. Have three timeouts, so you have lots of time, and you can stop the clock if you want. Maybe go for a nice run, maybe up the right side, get about 15, 20 yards. You can even slide if you want to, call a timeout. And it looks like maybe they're just going to down it here. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Is the game clock is going to be at 37 seconds. And the play clock is going to be at more than that. So with that kneel, Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks take the lead on the last drive, 77 yards to Ryan Borden. 14-13, Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks over the Hinton Blackhawks. We'll be right back with some quick commercial after some quick commercials here with some statistics on the half, and some coverage as well. You're listening to Fuller Digital Solutions. Savings Bank of Hartley, proud to serve the Hartley area. Our team is committed to great customer service, dependability, going the extra mile. Convenient drive through online bill pay service, ATM service, loans, and so much more. Some of the many reasons to bank with a friendly team at Savings Bank of Hartley, with locations in Primgar and Lake Park. Visit us online at savingsbankia.com. Isma Graphics in Sanborn, your one-stop sign shop for everything from vehicle wraps, lettering, fleet graphics, signs of all kinds, race car wraps, power sport wraps, banners, logo design, business cards, or even color change vehicle wraps. Everything is done in-house with top-of-the-line equipment. Stefan and Ashley Seabisma employ an experienced and knowledgeable staff who are ready to work for you. To help get you noticed, visit cbisma-graphics.com. Find us on Facebook or call 7 712-729-7446. Probably emotional. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster. Or set a one-pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. Me and my wife are going to go up to Minnesota. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has served the unique needs of the ag industry. As members of your community, we get to know you and your operation, providing coverage for your farm, ranch, machinery, livestock, and so much more. Find out why we're the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. In Primgar, your Farm Bureau agent is Danielle Rader. Number one ag insurer across our eight-state territory. 2018 SNLPNC Group Directorate and Premium. He's still alive. Oh, he's still alive. Wow. Yeah. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has served the unique needs of the ag industry. As members of your community, we get to know you and your operation, providing coverage for your farm, ranch, machinery, livestock, and so much more. Find out why we're the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. In Primgar, your Farm Bureau agent is Danielle Rader. Number one ag insurer across our eight-state territory. 2018 SNLPNC Group Directorate and Premium. you really like it. I, I tried it and so here I am 17 years later. I, I love it. Um, a place called 
at Century Mutual. We're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. One life, one wife. Customers deserve great internet too. This is Doug from Evertech. You deserve Evertech's No Limits Internet and the personal service that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bringing customers like you reliable, unlimited internet. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. I chose the NCC CNA course because I just really liked the instructors and the entire NCC community, how welcoming everybody is. And I was able to take it in high school and get it done before I started college. The new facility here at NCC has been great. You've got every tool you can think of. You're never struggling to find something. Just the facility as a whole has been awesome. It makes the learning a lot more interesting and a lot more hands-on and it's just been great. Probably the biggest thing that we do a little bit different than a lot of schools is the live work side of the world. So when we teach our students, we actually, if you look around the shop and see what they're working on, in most cases it's a customer car, and so they get real world application. Our engineering design program is basically drawing components, manufacturing of the components, and then we get into the inspection of the components. So they got to create it, make it, and inspect it just as they would in industry. I chose NCC because they have a nice welding program, their building is fairly new, they make it very easy to just jump in and learn. Coming into welding I had no experience so this program and this NCC seems like a good place to start. We have very good instructors here, they're all well, well qualified. The courses are going to be the same if you get them here. The difference is it's going to cost you a lot less money. Then we have agreements with lots of other universities, about 40 of them, and that allows them to transfer all their credits. Finding someone you trust, it's important when it comes to your farming operation. For generations, you know that you can work with Savings Bank of Primgar, Hartley, and Lake Park. From generation to generation, the state savings loan officers in Primgar, Hartley, and Lake Park continue to work with you. Find us online at savingsbankia.com. And I hope I've been unbiased for the most part. I think I have. Isma Graphics in Sanborn, your one-stop sign shop for everything from vehicle wraps, lettering, fleet graphics, signs of all kinds, race car wraps, power sport wraps, banners, logo design, business cards, or even color change vehicle wraps. Everything is done in-house with top-of-the-line equipment. Stefan and Ashley Seabisma employ an experienced and knowledgeable staff who are ready to work for you. To help get you noticed, visit cbisma-graphics.com. Find us on Facebook or call 7 Seven one two seven two nine seven four four six. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has served the unique needs of the ag industry. As members of your community, we get to know you and your operation, providing coverage for your farm, ranch, machinery, livestock, and so much more. Find out why we're the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. 
In Brimgar, your Farm Bureau agent is Danielle Rayner. Number one ag insurer across our eight state territory. 2018 SNL PNC Group Direct Written Premium. you really like it. I, I tried it and so here I am 17 years later, I, I love it. There's two things we can control every morning when we wake up. All right, there's two things, don't take any athletic ability, it's attitude and effort. Let's get started here, let's go, let's have a day. We had a freshman boy play, he some guy live streamed his game, so we got to watch him. And an eighth, we got the structures here are really nice. The way they teach here is different than a few other colleges as well. We have outside cars, so not just a bunch of trainer cars that we everybody works on and you kind of know what's wrong with them already. So we have to go through the full steps of diagnostics and find out what the problem is and then we fix it. The heavy equipment program here at NCC is unique in that we actually go out and do real world jobs. Students get hands-on time with the equipment. We cover the maintenance as well as the operation of the equipment and then we go into the estimating side of things. Welcome back to the halftime show here between Hinton Blackhawks and Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. A barn burner we have tonight, 14 to 13, Hawks lead at the half. A couple of touchdowns on both sides, but we're going to get into it a little bit. Cooper Ebel, 7 for 69 on the ground, unofficially. No, he's been really good, especially last week you saw him carry the ball many times, put it in the end zone, five on the ground, one in the air, and now you've already seen him one time tonight throw it. And he completed it 77 yards to find his intended receiver, Ryan Borden. Ryan Borden with a nice catch and run. Still finding his way into the end zone. A couple of rushing touchdowns as well. Travis Camrat will take it from about 10 yards out, and he'll find himself in the end zone. Did walk off with a little bit of a gimp, but he's still got four carries, 21 yards, and a touchdown to his name, so not bad. And for the Hinton rushing game, a couple of people here that have been really, really explosive on the ground. The first one is Bo DeRocher. DeRocher with 14 carries, 61 yards. He's been pretty good getting those hard-earned yards and making sure that the Hinton offense has been moving down the field. Nice catch by Carson Pierce, too. Greg Carlson found him on the left side of the end zone for an 18-yard grab. He's going to be really nice. Good focus as he went to the ground, making sure that he was able to haul it in. Would put the Blackhawks up 13 to 8, would not convert the two point conversion, which would lead to the Hawks scoring a touchdown automatically being up. They also went for the two point conversion, were unsuccessful, following a false start. So Travis Cameron with that, Ryan Borden with the touchdown, Glenn Carlson as well will take it from 10 yards out. He was very explosive, a little fake handoff to the fullback. Find his way in the end zone after breaking a couple of tackles there and carrying a defender in. Really, really good game here in Hartley, Iowa, between Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. For Cooper Ebel on that offense to really start picking it up on the run game. Looks like they were giving him a little bit of a reprieve with Travis Camrat, and then we've seen Trenton Volink a little bit. After coming in with a broken wrist the past few weeks, he's finally getting back to that running back position, giving them a little bit of leeway there with the run game. And Cooper Ebel, a nice little break. Only one pass for the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks, and that one is going to result in a 77-yard touchdown. Really good play by Cooper Ebel, who had a lot of time in the backfield to throw the ball, make a decision, makes the right one. Ultimately, Hartley Melvin Sanborn would go up 14-13 to with that. They will get the ball to start the half as they deferred after the coin toss. A little bit of a key here for Hinton. You're down by one, and Hartley Melvin Sanborn comes out with the ball. That offense has been very explosive in the last two drives. Obviously, you don't count the one with the kneel. 
And but the two drives before that, both of them went into the end zone. Cooper Evil really leading that offense after he did fumble in the first quarter. Looked like he was going down on the ground and hit the ball off of a defender. Ultimately, Hinton would recover. They would they would force a punt, however, Hartley Melvin Sanborn would, and they'd get the ball right back. Greg Carlson finally starting to pick it up in the air after a couple of incompletions to start the game. Finding his receivers twice and then not for about four in a row. Carlson really starting to heat up in the pass game. Think that if you're Hinton here, you want to make sure that you rely on that pass game a little bit more. And now that Greg Carlson is warmed up, ready to throw those out routes, about 10 to 12 yards. I've seen it about three or four times here. Hinton has a really good pass game going on. And this Hartley Melvin Sanborn defense can't figure out how to stop that route. So you got to keep going back to it. And then once they start to bite on it, send a guy up the field, maybe with a little bit of a head fake, bring him to the end zone. Greg Carlson also not afraid to throw it deep. So that's why I'm saying maybe you have something going on there where you fake that out route and you go up field. For Hartley Melvin Sanborn, you have to keep the momentum going. Hartley Melvin Sanborn started off really poor with a fumble and not very many yards. The defense letting up a touchdown on the opening drive. But now we've seen in that second quarter, especially near the end, the entire team has picked up the momentum and they're starting to drive it down the field here. Hinton has to make sure that they can stop that momentum in order for Hartley Melvin Sanborn to be unsuccessful for Hinton to take the victory. Hinton has to get in the end zone here. Got their first touchdown on the first drive and then had one in between the second quarter, about 10 minutes. Now Hinton's got to make sure that they can be consistent on the offensive side as well. And that starts in the pass game for them. The rush game, however, for Hartley Melvin Sanborn is something that you're going to see a lot of in the second half, I believe, especially because they get the ball first. Run a little bit of clock off and maybe score, get a field goal potentially, get some points on the board and make sure that you put the pressure on Hinton. we got about a minute and 40 seconds left till the start of the second half. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. Randy Lyman. Randy Lyman. Elgrisma Agency in Sanborn. Real estate and insurance. For 40 years, Elgrisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. Elgersma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact Elgersma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgersmaagency.com. Just a couple of seconds here before the opening half kickoff here between Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks and the Hinton Blackhawks. Both teams looking to get into the next round here. And they'll play the winner of Galen Catholic and Woodbury Central. As I last checked, Woodbury Central up 35 to zero over Galen Catholic. Galen Catholic looking like they need to pull something out of the hat in order to be successful. However, right now the focus is here as kickoff is about to start. For the Blackhawks, number 15, Lindley. Lindley here to kick it off. Back to receive, number 10, Ethan Dean. Ethan Dean. Good kick by Lindley. That'll be taken by the right fullback at about the 22-yard line. He's going to find some space. He'll try to get out. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. Ryan Borden is going to be out. DeRocher with a nice tackle there. That'll put Hartley Melvin Sanborn at about the 34-yard line here to start the drive. Here comes the Hartley Melvin Sanborn offense. 
Look really looking to make well. some dents in this defense. Wear down some clock here. And they're going to start direct snap. Cooper Ebel going to go up the middle for a gain of about one. They're going to give him three. It'll be second at about seven here for the Hawks. Second down, eight yards. I think it was Trenton Volland that was out there. It looked like that. Here's, here's Travis on the end of the line in number five. So he is out there in pads in full uniform still. Not out there on offense right now. He's following playing with that left wrist cast. Cooper Ebel is going to be the lead blocker for Trenton Volink. Volink is going to have some great speed. He's going to break a tackle. And Trent Volink is going to get taken down at about the 41-yard line. Looks like he was going to be taken down at about the 50. All of a sudden, breaking a tackle. Bowling with a really nice play there to gain just over 20 yards. Bowling with a really nice run there. will put the Hawks in a good position. Their opponent's 41-yard line. Cooper Ebel there to take the snap. Gonna fake the handoff. It's gonna be a counter to the right. Cooper Ebel is gonna break a tackle and he'll break another. He'll be taken down at about the 33-yard line. An absolute dogfight between both of these teams. Cooper Ebel looking like he was trying to break it out. Fortunately, the Blackhawks were very, very adamant about putting him down. He's second at about three here. Following the nice game by Cooper Evil. Third quarter, Hawks on the move. Second and three. Money hitting third and four. And they'll go board to end. Dean split wide left. Volink is to Evil's left. They got power. Cooper Evil will take the snap. They're going to go power here. Cooper Evil is going to find a hole. And he'll break a couple tackles. And he'll fight his way out to the 22 yard line. Really good play by Cooper Evil to find some space and make something out of it. Gain of about 12. And it'll give the Hawks another first down. Talking about that momentum here at the half. The Hawks really have to run with it here. Already two and a half minutes off the clock. You got to keep running it with Cooper Evil. Cooper Evil looking like he is ready to be dominant this half. He has been unleashed. First and ten here. Cooper Evil take the snap. One wide receiver way left. Cooper Ebel is going to fake the handoff, and Cooper Ebel is going to find a hole up the middle. He'll be taken down by a couple of Blackhawks. That'll be number two, Gabe Anderson, on the tackle. Gain of about three here. Football just inside the 20, about the 19 and a half. So the Hawks in the red zone. Just under Once nine again, minutes left. By one, 14, 13. Of this half for looking to extend this lead. It's Blackhawks defense here. Bend but don't break. And now you're getting into the red zone. You've got to make sure that you continue to fight hard here. It says Trenton Bolink is going to get tripped up in the backfield. Maybe a short gain, maybe not even back to the line of scrimmage here. Trenton Bolink. Get himself tripped up here. It'll be a gain of maybe a couple inches. Third and about six. Really big play here for the Hawks as you want to keep this momentum and you also want to keep the ball. Already knocked off four minutes. Hitting, relying on that pass game. He's going to give you a lot of time. Trenton Bolink is going to get the handoff. Trenton Bolink is going to find his way all the way down to the 14-yard line. They're not going to give him that first down. He's got to fight a couple more yards there, but it'll be fourth and short. And this is a situation where you'd think that this Hawks offense is going to go for it. I mean, this is exactly what they're going to do with the hurry-up offense here after the Bolink four-yard carry. Cooper Ebel is going to try and find his way outside. And he's going to break a couple of arm tackles. And Cooper Ebel will find his way into the end zone. Touchdown. 14 yards. Cooper Ebel. Looked like maybe he might have been taken down behind the line of scrimmage and had a defender dive, try to make a tackle. And Cooper Ebel just shugged him off. 
Albert Sanborn that way. Thank you, Iowa State Bank. He ran right through both He's got a great stiff arm, too. He loves to go to that. Really good play by Cooper Ebel there to make sure that the defender wasn't going to take him down. Not a lead to a 14 yard touchdown run. You got the 77 yard touchdown pass as well. Hawks up seven. They're going to go for two and try to make it a two possession game. Big play here for the Hawks is if they get this two point conversion, it will be a two possession game. Cooper Ebel is going to try and find a hole. And he's going to, what seems like he was going to go down, he's going to break a tackle, but there are flags on the play. This one may be coming back. Cooper Ebel looked like he was going to get stuffed by about three Blackhawks. And he was able to get into the end zone for the two-point conversion. This one might be coming back. I'm going to say face mask Hinton. The two-point conversion is good, so the Hawks will go up by two possessions here. With seven minutes, 31 seconds left to play in the third quarter, 22 to 13 over the Blackhawks. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital. Rural customers deserve great internet too. You deserve Evertech's No Limits Internet and the quality local services that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bring customers like you reliable and unlimited internet. Up to 50 megabits across 22 counties. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. I chose the NCCCNA course because I just really liked the instructors and the entire NCC community, how welcoming everybody is. And I was able to take it in high school and get it done before I started college. The new facility here at NCC has been great. You've got every tool you can think of. You're never struggling to find something. Just the facility as a whole has been awesome. It makes the learning a lot more interesting and a lot more hands-on and it's just been great. Twenty-two to thirteen here, Hawks over the Blackhawks. Been a very, very good game so far. Cooper Evil is going to take it in from fourteen yards after breaking a couple of tackles. And just as I'm saying that, Cooper Evil is going to kick it off. It looks like they're going to take it at about the two, and they're going to run out with this one, even though they had the fifteen yards on the face mask. They'll get it out to about the twenty-four yard line. So overall, a good decision to take it out there. As I was saying, Cooper Rebo, 14-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion is good. There was a face mask on the two-point conversion that allows the Hawks to kick it at the 45-yard line of their opponents. They'll get it out down to about the two, take it out to the 24. The Hawks will start here first and 10 on the left hash. Now trailing by nine. A big drive on this game for both teams. They'll go behind it. Greg Carlson with two fullbacks and a halfback behind him. Greg Carlson is going to try and run it forward. And he'll get stuffed by a couple of Hawks here. Number 85. Even Jacobs Ma. Short game about here, three here by Greg Carlson. Nice job to get a couple. Unfortunately, it's still going to be second and quite a bit. Second and seven here. Hinn's going to look to hand it off again. The Rocher is going to try and find some space. He'll get up to about the 31-yard line, gain of about four. It'll be third and short. Looks like DeRocher is slow to get off the field here a little bit. Doesn't look like a lower extremity. However, it looks like he's holding maybe his wrist or his forearm here. It's the backup, number 24, Danny Blackwell, is going to come out onto the field. Five foot seven, 150 pound junior running back. Walked off under his own power, I should say. Walked off with one of the coaches and 
a couple of substitutions here. It looks like now with the Rocher out, you may rely on this pass game a little bit, although it's not too late to switch to the run game. Greg Carlson here with four wide receivers out there. Greg Carlson's going to scramble to the left. He's going to try and find his receiver out to the left. And that pass will be batted down. Heard his name quite a few times tonight, Ethan Dame. Excuse me, Ethan Diem. On the PBU, and that will force a tough situation here for Hinton. However, I don't think you can hold on to the ball here. Fourth and short in your own territory. Can't. Especially with DeRocher out, can't take that risk. So it looks like the punt team is going to come out, give the ball back to the Hawks. It's going to be a delay of game on this Hinton offense punt team. Worth an eight here now. Instead of a short conversion, now you definitely have to punt the ball. Hinton electing to go for it. We'll get the delay of game here. And now back to punt, Caden Winters. Big leg. Cooper Evil is going to take it at about the 40-yard line, and so the Hawks will get the ball once again after they scored on the last drive here. Five minutes, 52 seconds left to go. Already taking off some time and building that momentum. Hawks are looking to punch another one in here. Volink is going to find some space, and he's going to carry a defender all the way out to the 49-yard line of his opponent's territory. However, there is a flag back at the line of scrimmage, and this one looks like it's going to be coming back, a holding call here for the Hawks. There is a flag on the play. It'll be a holding, so instead of a gain of 10 yards, it'll be a loss of 10 yards here. Big momentum shift. Talking about it earlier, momentum is definitely something that the Hawks need to hold on to here. If you can't convert this in three downs, then you, know, you may have lost some of that momentum you've already got. First down, 20 yards to go. First and 20 here for the Hawks. Cooper Evil is going to lead this offense. Two wide receivers out left. Cooper Abel is going to fake like he missed the snap. That would be volleying, volleying with a nice little yard, one-yard gain. There is another flag or two, one on the 30-yard line, one on the 42. Who knows who this is going to be on here. A little bit of a mystery. A couple of offsetting penalties here as the Hinton Blackhawks will have face mask. And the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks will just have holding call. Both penalties will even out and there'll be a reset of that down. So still first and 20 here. Short game by Trenton Volink will be absolutely wiped out both in downs and yardage. However, it didn't look like he got many yards anyway. It'll be first and 20. Cooper Ebel is going to launch one out to the left. Second time you've seen him pass tonight. That's going to be completed for a gain of about 11. Finds his receiver, Ethan Deem. Really, really good on defense, Deem has been. Now you find him on offense. Second down, eight yards to go. 
Second and about eight here for the Hawks. Really taking it back from that first and 20. Cooper Evil going with the hard count. Trenton Bolink is going to get the snap. Trenton Bolink is going to find a hole, and he's going to continue to run hard. Bolink will take it past that first down marker for a gain of about 12 and a first down here. Fresh set. 42. Even though he's got that cast on his left wrist, still being very explosive in the run game here. Trent Bolink running through this defense like a train right now. First and 10 after a new set of downs. Four minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Cooper Evil is going to get the snap, and it's going to be a counter. He'll be taken down for a short gain, and it looks like there's going to be another flag. Maybe it looked like maybe Evil went down a little bit funny head first. You don't really see that when he's running forward, and there's nobody in front of him or behind him. You'd think that maybe another face mask call here would be something that you see. You're seeing the hitting Blackhawks a lot. A lot of wear and tear on them right now. I'm struggling to get a little and that's exactly what the call is going to be. Another face mask here. But only the five yards, so it'll still be first at about three now. This hitting defense looks like it's getting a little bit tired out there. Got to hold together. This Hawks offense has been really explosive. Cooper Evil can wear you down pretty quick. And he's going to elect to pass again. Third time. Three for three. Nice short gain of about five, and it'll be a first down. Way down to the 35 yard line here. The Hawks are going to take the ball first and 10. Once again, getting a nice fresh set of downs. Four minutes, 16 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Expect maybe a direction half to Trenton Volink here. That's exactly what's going to happen. Power to the left. Volink is going to try and truck his way through, and he'll do that. However, a gaggle of Blackhawks will be there. Main tackler on that play, number 37, Dylan Hartman. Six foot, 185. Senior linebacker. Second down, seven yards to go. Get back to defense. Hands on some hips here. The Hawks, you know, can really in a selfish way with a nice, you know, long drive, scoring drive. Hawks in no hurry to run the ball here. Yeah, if they can do that, go up three scores. It might be the next quarter by the time they get in the end zone if they can cap off this drive like they want to. Cooper Evil, they're going to hand it off. Brian Borden with a nice touchdown already tonight is going to take it for a gain of about six yards. Around the left side for number 20, Ryan Borden. Excuse me, they're going to say about four, maybe five. Second rush of the night here. Number 16, Second time we've seen that tonight. Now it's third and short. Maybe think that Cooper Evil run right up the middle. Cooper Evil has been very dominant tonight in the interior run game. However, we've seen Trenton Volink in. He's going to take the direct snap sometimes. It will be Cooper Evil, and it'll be right up the gut. Cooper Evil is going to try and break a couple tackles here. Gang tackled by Garrett Stahl and Caden Winters. Twelve, Garrett Stahl, and also number sixteen, Caden Winters. Uh, yeah, enough for a first down. There, you know, six, seven, ball at the twenty-three the yard line. Power, power is man off the line of scrimmage. Down to the twenty. Able to use those long line. arms and leverage yeah, into stall. tying him up and you play, tie him up that long like that. Yeah, he's running back able to get through the hole by then. Stall who made a nice play on that, making sure to take down Cooper Evil, coming off with a little bit of a limp here. Maybe something in the hamstring area. Regardless, the Hawks will have a fresh set of downs, first and 10 at the 24-yard line. A little bit of a hard count here is going to get the Blackhawks really guessing themselves. Encroachment here for the Blackhawks on top of this dominant run game, continuing to pound it in. 
Another five yards will be tacked on without having to do anything. It does give the Blackhawks defense a little bit of an opportunity to catch their breath, however, at the expense of five yards. It'll be first and five now from the 18-yard line. Trenton Bowling with the direct snap, and he's going to get taken down for a short gain, down about the 15 for a short gain of about three. Initially by number 55, that's a gain of Jacob Bishop. Three, it'll be second down and two. Be second down and yeah, two yeah. yards so, to go. You know, not, not, not as big as camera. And Hinton's hopes are going away one second at a time here. Oh, Just okay. under two and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. This has really been a good drive for the Hawks here. It's exactly what you need to keep the momentum, keep the ball on the ground, and keep the clock going. All three of those things will lead to successful victory here for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Hinton needs to get a stop here. But how can you stop Cooper Evil as he does things like this? Breaks a couple of tackles, and he'll carry a couple of defenders down to about the seven yard line. Gain of about eight or nine on the play. Garrett Davis and also number 10, Bo DeRocher. I think just, just for that reason. Bo DeRocher back out on the field after coming off with some sort of wrist or hand injury. And he'll be right back off the field once again. Yeah, not a lot of quarterbacks who can 6 3 2 and just run you over like a fullback, but that is the thing that HMS has to do. Cooper Abel looks like he's going to pass. He's going to have some pressure, and he's just going to shuck it off. Cooper Abel is going to look for a couple of receivers, both in the intended passing lane. Both could not come up with it. That'll be the first incompletion of the night for Cooper Ebel. Hard to think about incompletions when you hardly pass. However, that's the case. Three for four. A couple of nice plays. It'll be second, about eight. Minute 31 left to play here in the third quarter. Cooper Ebel has been very dominant on this drive, and you're going to see him hand it off to Trent Volink. Volink is going to walk into the end zone for the fourth touchdown tonight on this HMS side. Really big play there by Trenton Bowling, able to walk it into the end zone. Following the two-point conversion, this would then be a three-possession game. Hinton would have a tough time coming back, need to get the ball three times. However, the Hawks look like they're going to try and maintain possession all the way through. Ebel's going to find a hole and he'll get into the end zone for the two-point conversion. And now that will be a three-possession game. As Hinton goes on top, 30-13. to 13, or The Hawks go on top, 30-13 to 13, over the Hinton Blackhawks. We'll be right back for the next kickoff after this quick commercial break on Fuller Digital. I like living in the dorms at NCC because it's a short walk to class. We do get free perks on campus. We get free laundry. We get free cable, free internet, free utilities. I do feel like I'm getting the college experience at NCC. At NCC, we have EMT classes that cover many things, trauma emergency, medical emergencies, all the way to delivering a baby. There's just many more opportunities for EMS that allow you to grow, not only as a person, but in your career as well. Sanborn Savings Bank, Sanborn's hometown bank since 1899. Because we are your hometown bank, we understand the importance of offering you a wide range of financial services to help you meet your financial goals. We have checking, savings, and certificate of deposit accounts that will help you manage your money. We offer all types of loans for your individual needs. We are always ready to work with you to design a program to meet your financial needs. Sanborn Savings Bank, proud to support the HMS Hawks, member FDI. I see. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hawks and the Blackhawks. 
really, really hard to keep the difference between the two. However, you can tell because of the score, 30 to 13 here. It's a nice kick by Cooper Evil. will put it down about the five, forcing the returner to take it. And as he does so, DeRozier is going to try and take it out. He'll get it past the 25-yard line, and he'll be suplexed into the ground by a couple of Hawks. DeRocher, a really good play to get it out of their own end zone area. Kick will settle at about the five-yard line. That forces DeRocher to pick it up. He'll find about 20 yards on that. And it'll be first and 10, 26. This is something that I would think of as an absolutely must-score drive. Three possessions now, minute 18. You know that when the Hawks get the ball, they're going to want to run it down the field, take some time, take their time, keep their breath here. Greg Carlson, now you're going to have to rely on the pass game a little bit here. And here's a screen. It looks like it's going to be sniffed out pretty good. However, doesn't matter. The receiver slipped up a little bit there. That's number 15, Garrett Lindley. There is a flag on the play. But uh, flag in the backfield. Camera. Is this going to be a flag on the play? Screen pass, but it is. <laughs> holding against Hinton. Is That'll be a holding foul. on Hinton. So regardless of what happened, we'll be going back 10 yards. So Blackhawks, who came out really so crisp on that first drive of just kind of the mistakes of as you, as you mentioned, this is what we saw the last time that the Hawks and the Blackhawks met. At the end of the half, it was 36 to 20. And then in the second half, the Hawks would be the only team to score. This game would end 55 to 20. HMS is kind of tightening things up here in the second half, and Hinton getting a little loose with things. And now they face first down. Looks like Hinton has got to get up to the line of scrimmage. Just 10 seconds left on the play clock here. Not going to have a lot of time to set up. Wide receivers out wide, left and right. I think Greg Carlson has got to throw it deep a little bit here. Greg Carlson is going to absolutely launch the ball downfield. Ball go for about 45 yards. Unfortunately, it'll be about five yards far of his intended receiver, Carson Pierce. Greg Carlson, pretty good arm there to get it all the way out to the 50-yard line. 45-yard bomb. It looked like he had more. However, was not able to connect with his receiver once again, Carson Pierce. I've seen it already tonight as well. A couple other of his receivers, especially Caden Winters in that first half, had a great chance, just missed it by a few feet. Winters couldn't hold on to the ball, and now we're going to see that here. Second and 20, the, the Hinton Blackhawks are going to find a way here, make something out of nothing. Greg Carlson going to have to launch it again. As you can see, that arm really coming into work. DeRocher is going to take the ball, and they're going to complete the pass. What a play by Greg Carlson to lob it up and make sure that his wide receiver had enough space to make a play. A gain of about 45, 50 yards. My goodness. First down. That's what I was talking about earlier, man. You continue to throw those long balls down the field. Eventually, you'll connect on one or two of them, whether you like it or not, interception or completion. And right there, you're going to see the positive aspect and a hint and a make-or-break drive. It's going to connect there, and now they get the first down. Greg Carlson's going to roll out to the left. He's going to sling one across the field, and he'll try to find his target, Winters. Unfortunately, that will be incomplete. Second and ten. Carlson to winners, uh, number 11, Cooper Evil, uh, on the past defense on that play. It'll be second down. Good all around player. He's a good, good runner, but good pass catcher. We saw that was just a straight good receiver play on that one. Just lined up out wide, and they're going to do that. Deuces both ways. Greg Carlson looking like he's going to try and take this pass offense all the way as the Hawks are going to be forced to take a timeout here. 27 seconds. Good clock control by Hinton. Definitely needed on this drive. 30 to 13. Hawks over the Blackhawks. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. 
Basement Graphics in Sanborn, your one-stop sign shop for everything from vehicle wraps, lettering, fleet graphics, signs of all kinds, race car wraps, power sport wraps, banners, logo design, business cards, or even color change vehicle wraps. Everything is done in-house with top-of-the-line equipment. Stefan and Ashley Seabisma employ an experienced and knowledgeable staff who are ready to work for you. To help get you noticed, visit cbisma-graphics.com. Find us on Facebook or call 712-729-7446. Game is still in high school, right? This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster or set a one-pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. Hitting here, second and ten, following the Greg Carlson incomplete pass. Looks like he's going to try and scramble, and he'll run over a defender, and he'll take it down to about the 41-yard line. Greg Carlson, way to use his legs there for a gain of about four. 44, he puts Wiersma in on the tackle. Greg Carlson really playing good in the pocket there. Obviously, it collapsed a little bit. Great job to sense the pressure and find some space. Get the yards on your legs here. As the third quarter is going to come to an end here, Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks 30, Hayden Blackhawks 13. Been a real good game so far. Stick around for the end. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has served the unique needs of the ag industry. As members of your community, we get to know you and your operation, providing coverage for your farm, ranch, machinery, livestock, and so much more. Find out why we're the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. In Primgar, your Farm Bureau agent is Danielle Rayner. Number one ag insurer across our eight-state territory. 2018 SNL PNC Group Directorate and Premium. Try it. I think you really like it. I, I tried it, and so here I am 17 years later. I, I love it. Welcome back to your fourth quarter coverage of the Harley Melvin Sanborn Hawks and the Hinton Blackhawks. Real good game here coming into the final stretch. Harley Melvin Sanborn Hawks just let up a nice 40, 50 yard pass. Now they'll find themselves backed up in their own territory a little bit with this Hinton offense really humming. Carlson staying in the pocket a little bit here. He's going to roll out. Carlson is going to launch one deep. Once again, trying to find his intended receiver, Carson Pierce. Really good ball. Probably the only place you could put it that Carson Pierce has a chance. Fortunately, can't come down with it. And that will be fourth down. Or not sorry, number 17. Number 17, Will Hanks from. Number 10. Carson Pierce was the intended receiver on the play. Greg Carlson here. Big fourth down conversion. He's got to connect here, and he's going to launch another one. As he's going to have, he's going to get the defensive pass interference. Really good play by the wide receiver to get out there and make a play. Force that defensive back to guard a little bit. He's got some cramping out on the right sideline there. Looks like he's scrolling around a little bit. Looks like he's in a little bit of pain out there. I do believe this will be a defensive pass interference call. Hitton will get the ball within the red zone here. Big play all around. 
player trained to get, you know, catch the ball before the ball got there. Get his um, leg worked out all the far sideline. And Ryan is okay. Quite a few trainers and coaches surrounding Ryan right now. And as they continue to attend to him, we're going to go to a quick commercial break and we'll give you an update here after that. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. Customers deserve great internet too. This is Doug from Evertech. You deserve Evertech's No Limits Internet and the personal service that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bringing customers like you reliable, unlimited internet. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit Evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Twitter as well, at KICD Sports. Ryan Board has been walking off a little bit hobbled. Ryan Borden looks like he's able to get up and he'll walk off the field with a bit of help. Really concerned over there a little bit. He'll start to jog. Still keep that leg a little bit secure. A little bit upset as he goes to the sideline. However, that defensive pass interference will give the Hinton Blackhawks another first down. Greg Carlson is going to continue to have a chance here to put the Hinton Blackhawks on the board. Scoreless in the second half. Greg Carlson's looking to change that. He's going to lob another one up to his wide receiver. And it looks like he's going to find his target in the end zone for a touchdown. This time, number 15, Garrett Lindley on the play. Excuse me, that's going to be number 16, Caden Winters. Winters, a couple of incompletions his way. Had his mitts on one in the first half. Unfortunately, wasn't able to come down with it. Now we'll find the end zone for a touchdown. Winners was triple covered, but came down with it anyway. That was a great throw by Carlson, 27 yards away, and it's 30 to 19. Really good play by Carlson here, commending him in the pocket. Extra point up by Garrett Divis, and it is good. Crucial drive here for the Hinton Blackhawks ends up with seven. Put it back at a two-possession game as the Harley Melvin Sanborn Hawks still up 30 over Hinton. Blackhawks 20. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break from our sponsors on Fuller Digital Solutions. I chose the NCC CNA course because I just really liked the instructors and the entire NCC community, how welcoming everybody is. And I was able to take it in high school and get it done before I started college. The new facility here at NCC has been great. You've got every tool you can think of. You're never struggling to find something. Just the facility as a whole has been awesome. It makes the learning a lot more interesting and a lot more hands-on, and it's just been great. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. Good 20-plus yard completion here from Greg Carlson. Find his receiver. Caden Winters in the end zone, triple covered. Can go in for the touchdown. Extra point is good. Hinton now at 20 points. First touchdown of the half. Really trying to gain some momentum. If you're Hinton, you know that the Hawks are going to try and run this clock out. You may see an onside kick here. Kicking team. And they're going to squib it up the middle. Ethan Deem on the return, take it down to about the 29-yard line here, and the Hawks will start in decent field position. Really important drive here for the Hawks. Solidify the victory. Make sure you can get this clock. Just start winding it down. Keep it on the ground. Cooper Ebel is going to be your man to look to here on this drive. Although you know that this Hinton defense is going to be expecting to run every single time. So that's maybe why Cooper Ebel, you've seen him thrown a couple times. One incompletion. 
Volink is going to get the direct snap, and he'll be taken down for no gain. Volink, really crucial first play there. He'll end up taking it for zero. At this point in the game last week, the Hawks did fumble the ball on a direct snap. Esplin, who's not playing in this game, unfortunately wasn't able to handle it. He gave North Union a chance. However, the Hawks still came out victorious, as you can tell by them playing tonight. Second, in about nine. Volink is going to get another one. Volink is going to continue to run forward. He's going to try and throw him off, but Volink is not going to be successful on that. Tackle is made by DeRocher. DeRocher. Really good gain of about seven there after getting stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Will give the Hawks a fighting chance here. That clock continues to tick off. And that's exactly what the Hawks want here. Still a two possession game. Hinton really needs to get this ball back. Crucial play, third and short. You can stop him here. You may get the ball back and get a lot of time left on that clock. Look for Cooper Evil running up the middle. Cooper Evil is going to continue to break tackles, and Cooper Evil, lightning speed out to the left side. He'll be taken down at about the 41 yard line for a gain of about 22. Cooper Evil, when you need a play, Cooper Evil is here. Cooper Evil with a really nice play, breaking a couple tackles and finding his way out to the 41 yard line. It will go out of bounds, so the clock will be stopped. However, Big play here as you needed that conversion if you were the Hawks. Keep winding this clock down. Expect maybe a direct snap to Trenton Volink. They're trying to save Cooper Ebel's legs here. It's going to be Cooper Ebel is going to block. Cooper, and then Trenton Volink is going to take it down for a gain of about four. Tackled by number 37. Just as much as he likes carrying the ball. Second down, five yards to go. Hawks offense continuing to wind down this clock in the fourth quarter. Nine minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the game. Got to think, if you can get it under five or six minutes, this game is almost solidified. However, Hinton has been playing pretty well in this fourth quarter. It looks like a fire was lit under their rainies. Now it's time for Cooper Evil running it up, finding a nice hole, and he'll be taken down pretty hard at about the 32-yard line. Third and one. Not going high, I'm going to stop y'all, but allows him to fall ahead for another yard or two and, and uh, we'll put this into a third, third and one yard. Actually, third and fourth and one yard. Third and about one. You know, utilizing the clock well in HMS. They, they, they know how to play with the lead at the beginning clock in the fourth quarter, but here as well, they this Hawks offense is continuing to be dominant, wearing down this hit in defense. Trent Volink, another direct snap, and he's going to try and find his way forward. And he'll do just that. 27, 28 yard line to find himself going to. Gain of about five, and it'll be a fresh set of downs. Dave Anderson, also number 55, and on that tackle, Jacob Bishop is enough for a first down. Just under eight minutes and 30 seconds left to play almost here in the fourth quarter. As the Hawks will walk up to the ball, continue to run this clock out here. It looks like Volink on another carry, really running hard here in the closing moments. Maybe give him a gain of about two. Volink with about 75 yards to his name. Really hard running here, especially with that broken wrist. Officially just under eight minutes left to go in this game. Take a timeout, so we'll take a break with 
Timeout here for the Hawks as they try to settle themselves. 30-20, to 20, the Hawks lead over the Blackhawks. Really good game here. So stick around for the end. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. I like living in the dorms at NCC because it's a short walk to class. We do get free perks on campus. We get free laundry. We get free cable, free internet, free utilities. I do feel like I'm getting the college experience at NCC. At NCC, we have EMT classes that cover many things, trauma emergency, medical emergencies, all the way to delivering a baby. There's just many more opportunities for EMS that allow you to grow not only as a person, but in your career as well. 7.39 to go The structures here are really nice. The way they teach here is different than a few other colleges as well. We have outside cars, so not just a bunch of trainer cars that we everybody works on and you kind of know what's wrong with them already. So we have to go through the full steps of diagnostics and find out what the problem is and then we fix it. The heavy equipment program here at NCC is unique in that we actually go out and do real world jobs. Students get hands-on time with the equipment. We cover the maintenance as well as the operation of the equipment and then we go into the estimating side of things. Seven thirty nine left here in the ball game as the Hawks lead the Blackhawks thirty to twenty. Cooper Ebel back out on the field. It's continuing to run down this clock. Cooper Ebel is gonna break a couple tackles. Looks like he was gonna be taken down, but he'll take it into the end zone instead. Cooper Ebel, 26 yards on the ground. Cooper Ebel with the phenomenal broken tackle there. Spins out of one. He'll try to make a move on a defender close to the five yard line. Do just that. Put them back up 36 to 20. Cooper Ebel just figuring out how to stay up. Now 7 minutes, 30 seconds left here. Direct snap to Volink. Volink is going to walk his way into the end zone for the two-point conversion. So now it will be a three-possession game once again as the Hawks take an 18-point lead over the Blackhawks. We'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsors here on Fuller Digital Sanborn Savings Bank, Sanborn's hometown bank since 1899. Because we are your hometown bank, we understand the importance of offering you a wide range of financial services to help you meet your financial goals. We have checking, savings, and certificate of deposit accounts that will help you manage your money. We offer all types of loans for your individual needs. We are always ready to work with you to design a program to meet your financial needs. Sanborn Savings Bank, proud to support the HMS Hawks, member FDIC. Visma Graphics in Sanborn, your one-stop sign shop for everything from vehicle wraps, lettering, fleet graphics, signs of all kinds, race car wraps, power sport wraps, banners, logo design, business cards, or even color change vehicle wraps. Everything is done in-house with top-of-the-line equipment. Stefan and Ashley Seabisma employ an experienced and knowledgeable staff who are ready to work for you. To help get you noticed, visit cbisma-graphics.com. Find us on Facebook or Cooper Ebel here to kick it off. It's going deep. Warden will receive that. And he'll take it down to about the 41, 42 yard line. Nice return of about 20 yards here. It'll give the Blackhawks good position. Seven minutes, 25 seconds left. Greg Carlson coming out here after a couple of nice, nice passes down the field. We'll find Caden Winters. Nice gain, 28 in the back of the end zone. Triple covered. And he'll take it in for the touchdown. Deuces both ways here as Greg Carlson is going to look to pass it again. Shotgun has really been something they are relying on. A good pass rush. He's going to try and find his receiver, and his receiver is going to have it. Really good throw by Greg Carlson, number 24, Danny Blackwell. Danny Blackwell looked like he was going to bobble it a little bit. Did so, but still came down with it. 
the bottom the end. Of the I, yard I was line. watching. They brought the big tight end line. down to the first short, down. Short side. He ran the out. Really nice gain of about 47 yards there. Inside slot receiver and able to get beyond the Hinton showing no signs of slowing down on offense as it looks like there's been a spark lit. DeRocher with the ball. Cooper Ebel a little slow to get up here. Greg Carlson after the five yard rush here. Second and five. Carlson is going to look to pass it left. Caden Winters. Caden Winters is not going to be able to keep his feet in bounds. Third and five here for the Blackhawks. Been a really, really good drive so far. A couple of completions. Put the put Hinton at about the 21 yard line. Excuse me, 16 yard line. Really good play by Caden Winters to track it down. However, looks like they're going to go with something like a Wildcat here with DeRocher in the backfield. DeRocher is not going to handle the snap, and he's going to he's going to have to fall down, and that'll be a loss of about six. Really crucial. And now there's a flag on the play. That's not good. And that flag came out after the ball was deemed down. May see an unsportsmanlike conduct, and it looks like Hinton is moving backwards. Unsportsmanlike both ways here. Offsetting plays will really, really be crucial here for Hinton. Okay, so it was after the play, so it will stand as a loss of six here on a fumbled snap. Fourth and 11 here. Greg Carlson is really going to have to sling one out. DeRocher is going to find his way into the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Really good play by Carlson there. Slinging in for about 21 yards. And the Blackhawks again. Facing maybe with five a do or die situation, left. able to come through. And you know, it's 12 through 26. For the touchdown. 21 yard pass. Jim is hanging on to his arm. 21 yard pass. I think that pass covered about 45 yards in the air. As deep as he had to get to avoid the pressure and then throwing it over the far side in the deep part of the end zone. I mean, Roach is now 72 yards rushing, 67 yards receiving, and they got Divis in. Grabbed him by the shoulder. Extra point, trying to make it a point game. Extra point is up, and extra point is good. That'll make this a two possession game here. 71, Garrett Divis, the kicker, number 10, of Oderosha, the holder. Hinton take this lead all the way from 18 down to 11 here as the Hawks continue to strive to get this clock down. 38-27, we'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster or set a one-pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hinton Blackhawks and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. 38-27 here after the pass from Glenn Carlson. Realize I've been calling his name wrong the entire time. Apologize to Glenn there. Glenn Carlson finding his man in the end zone, DeRocher, for 21 yards. Another really good sling there by Carlson. We'll keep them in this game as the onside kick is going to continue to go forward. And it looks like they're going to say that Hinton recovered it. 
And this would mean that it would be short if they're marking it down where it is. This should be a flag here as it did not go 10 yards. They are marking it nine yards. Should be Hartley Melvin Sanborn football there, and it's exactly what it is. Can't touch it before 10 yards, and it was just nine and a half before a hint and defender grabbed it. Now the Hawks are going to have another opportunity to run down the clock. Five minutes, 47 seconds left here. Gonna try and shut out all of Hinton's hopes on this drive. Flags are flying as it looks like this may be a false start for the Hawks here. And they're going to call encroachment here on the defense. I think the Hawks thinking that it's on them. Have their huddle 20 yards back. First and five here. Oh, I guess he's DN. You're right. Winters is lined up kind of as a rush back here. They're, they're really in a 3 5, and they've got the outside linebackers up. Cooper Ebel is going to take it forward for a gain of about five here. It might get him the first down. Back up by number 37. Cooper Ebel just continuing to take a beating here, but not after 174 yards on the ground, a couple of touchdowns as well as one pass for a touchdown. Cooper Ebel has really been electric on this offense. Two rushing touchdowns and a passing touchdown as well. He's thrown for 94, so 271 total runs, three total touchdowns for Cooper Ebel. Cooper Ebel going to fake like he didn't get the snap. Trenton Bolink is going to take it for a gain of about one, maybe two. Depends on where the referee spotted here. Bolink is going to get taken down for a short game. Just under five minutes officially here in the ball game. The Hinton Blackhawks are still down by two possessions. Not all hope is lost, though, if you can get the ball back here. Second and long for the Hawks. Got to have your defense make a play here. You've traded a couple times now with touchdowns. Now you really need a stop here. Cooper Evil take the snap. He's going to fake the handoff. It's going to be a counter. Cooper Evil is going to power his way forward for another gain of about seven. By number two for the Blackhawks, Dave Anderson. Play. Third down, two yards to go. Gain of about seven or eight here for Cooper Evil. He puts him at about 171, 172 yards. Or 181, 182 yards. Excuse me. No rush to get up to this line of scrimmage. Under four minutes now, officially. Cooper Evil is going to power it up the middle. Cooper Evil just got to go down here, keep the clock running. Cooper Evil for a gain of about six. Eh, about five. Cooper Evil continuing to get the snap. For HMS, ball on the 25-yard line. Another first and ten for Hartman Ellis Sanborn. Twelve of those carries and another coming in the second half. You know, 30, 40, 40 seconds to play here. Every time, so we're three and a half to play in HMS. My goodness, this clock has almost vanished before our eyes. Another two minutes off on this drive here for the Hawks. Running out of space here on the field, however. Expect to see another Cooper Ebel carry. Counter to the left. Cooper Ebel is going to take it. Gain of about three, maybe four. 
from a lot of that here in the second half. Not, not the time initially on that tackle number 37. Yeah. And Hinton is going to call a timeout officially yeah. with three minutes and eight seconds left in the quarter, in the game. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. I'm for over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has served the unique needs of the ag industry. As members of your community, we get to know you and your operation, providing coverage for your farm, ranch, machinery, livestock, and so much more. Find out why we're the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. In Primgar, your Farm Bureau agent is Danielle Rader. Number one ag insurer across our eight-state territory. 2018 SNLPNC Group Directorate and Premium. Wait for the presentation of awards. At the conclusion of this ball game, we need both Welcome back to your live coverage of the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks and the Hinton Blackhawks. Really good game here coming down to the wire. Three minutes, eight seconds left. Hawks up by 11, two possessions. Have the ball and will continue to run this clock out. Really, really good for them right now to continue to tick off any seconds they can. Hebel is going to drop back to pass here, which is not something you want to do. However, he did have a wide open wide receiver, was unable to come down with it. Cooper Hebel hit his man in the hands, unfortunately wasn't able to come down. Keeping Jacobsma on the play. Now it'll be third and long here for the Hawks. Winner of this game will go on to play Woodbury Central, who took victory over Galen Catholic 48-7 here. And that game will be played next week, and the winner of that will get an entry into the state tournament. Third down, seven yards to go. Hawks got to keep it on the ground here. Cooper Evil is going to try and find a hole. He's going to break a tackle, and he's going to rush into the end zone for a third touchdown of the half. Cooper Evil, absolutely electric, going out from 22 yards, breaking a couple tackles. Get into the end zone for the third time tonight. Just about 213 yards on the ground here. Cooper Ebel has been electric. Hawks are going to go for the two point here. Wallink is going to fight his way into the end zone for the two point conversion, making this a 19 point game. Still three possessions here. Hinton is not down and out of it yet, but it's going to take a miracle to get back into this thing. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital. I think you really like it. I, I tried it, and so here I am 17 years later. I, I love it. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. Coming into the final three minutes here of this game, Cooper able to kick it off after he ran in one in for 24 yards. Giving him his third touchdown on the ground tonight. Cooper Evil is going to boot one out here. Kick will go out to about the 30-yard line. and It'll be taken at the 28. Number three, Carter Ward in there will take 
run it up for about 10, maybe 12 yards here. We're going to say he's on the opposite side of the 40 here, 38 yard line. Glenn Carlson is really going to have to throw that ball deep again. Really relying on him here in the fourth quarter as he's got three touchdown passes to his name in this half. Got to think, or excuse me, two touchdown passes this half, one in the first half, but he's really been slinging it here as of recent. Two minutes, 48 seconds left to play as Hinton starts their drive. Glenn Carlson back throw, and he's going to launch one downfield. He's going to try and find his receiver, and that will be incomplete. There is no pass interference on the play. Number 13, Carson Pierce, the intended target. Continuing to be a big offensive game here. Second down. Second and ten here. Hinton looking to throw it deep once again. Glenn Carlson. They're going to run the screen successfully this time. Unfortunately, there will be no space for the receiver to run. Garrett Lindley could not find a hole. And he'll be taken now behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of one. With that loss one, that clock is still going to run, though. Was not able to get out of bounds, and the pass was not incomplete. Carlson back to pass, rolling out to his right, and he's going to try and get the ball off. There was an intended receiver in the vicinity, so that will be an incomplete pass. Fourth and 11 here for Hinton. And you got to think this is a last ditch effort. Maybe try to draw that pass interference. Maybe see if you can throw one deep. Glenn Carlson is going to have to absolutely make a great play here in order to keep Hinton's dreams alive. Some other finals. West line defeats Green County 43-7 to advance. Glenwood on the road comes to Dale Norton Field. Upsets the Spencer Tigers 38-20. It is fourth down. Spirit Lake over Clear Lake. Fourth and 11 here. Hinton's one of Hinton's last hopes. They're still down by 19. Glenn Carlson looking to make something out of nothing. Get a little bit of magic going. This pass defense has been pretty good so far tonight. And as I say that, they're going to leave a man wide open on the right side of the field. He'll complete the pass to about the 46 of their opponents. That'll be a really, really good gain. About 22 yards on the play. Carson Pierce finding the gap. Bend but don't break didn't work here. Glenn Carlson, hurry up offense. He's going to dish it out to the left here, and he's going to have another wide receiver as Caden Winters is going to take it out. Gain of about six, seven, maybe eight. Winters is going to get nine there, they're going to say. His third catch of the night. Glenn Carlson really, really making this offense look good here. Another really deep pass. Caden Winters incomplete. Looked like it hit him in the helmet maybe. Really good coverage on the defender. Number 10, Ethan. Ethan Deem, really good pass coverage there. Not allowing Caden Winters any space to breathe. Now they'll find it third and short. That does stop the clock, though, so now Hinton has another chance. We'll say at the end of this game, even if Hinton loses, you cannot say that they did not try to get back into this game. Really good performance by both teams here in the second half. That's a false start on the right tackle. Could not get the snap off, so instead of a false start, it'll be a delay of game. Five yard penalty. Just a minute 12 to go. Hinton does have two timeouts, but this may hold it over, but the whistle, the Hawks leading by 19. 
one lineman, I think they're Matt New, that they, they need Third down, six line yards line to go. Minute 12 here. If you can't keep the ball in bounds, you might as well kiss those dreams goodbye. Glenn Carlson is really going to have to make a nice play here. Got to continue to launch it deep. The only friend right now is the end zone. Still showing Blackhawks, who after just one win each of the last two seasons, won six games this year. Great success this season. Trips left. Glenn Carlson looks like he's going to fake a scramble. He's going to juke a defensive lineman. Not really, as he will be sacked behind the line of scrimmage. There will be flags all over the field. Another great play by the defensive lineman, Lance Barons. Barons with a couple of sweet tackles for losses tonight, including that sack for about two. Flag will come after the fact. Delay of game after Carlson looked like he whipped the ball away. One minute, four seconds left on the clock here. In the closing minute of this game. And Carlson, one more chance here. Third and long. That clock starts to run under a minute now. So it looks like Hinton is going to take their time. And a timeout by the Hawks here. 46 to 27, Hawks over the Hinton Blackhawks. This game is all but over here. The Hinton Blackhawks have one more chance to throw it to the end zone. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. Closing minute here between the Hawks and the Blackhawks. Looks like Hinton's getting a lot of their uh, seniors out there right now for the last couple of plays. Really good season on their part. Six and three they went this year. Glenn Carlson's going to launch one out to the right side. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough as DeRocher is going to be taken down after a gain of about 10. And with that, the Hawks are going to take over in their own territory. However, a couple of kneels will seal this game as the Hawks play both teams playing a really good game. Victory formation here for the Hawks. They will have to run one more play. Of course, it will be victory formation here for the Hawks, and it looks like they're going to do just that right now. Really good game by both teams, Hinton coming out in the second half and showing why they were meant to be here. Six and three, they finished their record six and four now after this loss. However, you can't discredit the wonderful pass game we saw in the second half. Glenn Carlson with some absolute dots on the field. Overall, the Hawks played a better game on the ground, the wore down the defense, and in the end, all you had to do was run out the clock. Really good game between both Hartley Melvin Sanborn and Hinton. We'll be right back after a couple of quick commercials for some half to or for some final. Rural customers deserve great internet too. You deserve Evertech's No Limits Internet and the quality local services that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bring customers like you reliable and unlimited internet, up to 50 megabits across 22 counties. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your live coverage of Hartley Melvin Sanborn and the Hinton Blackhawks. Really good game. Final score 46 Hawks, 27 Blackhawks. Both teams played really well in the both respective offensive play styles. Lots of passing yards here for the Hinton Blackhawks. Finding his favorite receiver, DeRoche, for four for 84, and he also connected a touchdown to him, as well as quite a few deep passes for Carlson to his name. Overall, over 200 yards, it looks like, in terms of how many yards were gained in the air. In terms of rushing, DeRocher, 15 for 65 unofficially. Pretty good time overall. Hartley Melvin Sanborn, Talking about Hartley Melvin Sanborn, you have to talk about Cooper Ebel. 21 carries, 213 Ladies yards, and, and three touchdowns, as well as three of five, 100 or er, three completions, excuse me, for 93 yards and a touchdown. One of them being a 77-yard connection. Would like now like to direct your attention to midfield as Mr. Nathan. He Miller representing Hartley Melvin Sanborn. He is the principal at the high school at Hartley yeah, Melvin Sanborn. Uh, no, you can do the whole game. Okay. We'll make a presentation to the Hinton Blackhawks. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a hand. The Hinton Blackhawks. They're a very good season. And give me one more after this one. Here's First off, I'd like to congratulate the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks as you will advance to the quarterfinal round of the Iowa High School Athletic Association playoffs next Friday night, November 4th. We now honor Hartley Melvin Sanborn for an outstanding season. The trophy and medals you are receiving are in recognition of a great season. Congratulations to Coach Eilers on making it to the playoffs. They won't play Woodbury Central? Yes. Yeah. Woodbury Central defeated Lamar Galen. 48 to 7. It appears that the game next Friday night will be against Woodbury Central as they defeated Lamar's Galen tonight. High school football here on Q102. Keith Jack along with. Overall, a great game by both teams here as Hartley Melvin Sanborn will go next week to face Woodbury Central as they take down Galen Catholic 48-7. Really good game here tonight between the Hawks and the Blackhawks. You couldn't ask for more on a beautiful Friday night. 40 degrees, nice breeze, high school football. That's what we're about. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Carter, and I'll see you next week. HMS answered back in the second quarter in eight season, 48 to go, six plays, 255, a nine-yard run by Travis Cameron.